Hey guys, Rafe here. Um, so today I want to do something really cool that I've been planning for a while. And I want to go visit my doctor, Jake Gladstein. For my, every six months I do um, check out doctor's appointment. We get lab work done, the follow up on medication, how I'm doing, and see if we need to change anything, or stuff like that. Alright, let's go. Today. Uh, just for a routine checkup. And no allergies to medications, right? No. Haven't been to the hospital for any surgery since the last time we saw you? Mm -mm. Okay. Have you had sex since the last time we saw you? No, I've not. Okay, because you said the same thing the last time we saw you, so we want to make yeah, sure, sure about not. testing any <laughs> for STDs or anything like that. Yeah, it's been over two years now. Wow. All I can say is wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Temperature under the tongue. 97.8 temperature is good. 124 over 82. Pressure is good. And your cool. pulse is 69. So you're all set. Just wait right here. And Dr. Gladstein will be right in with you, okay? Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, meeting with Dr. Jay Gladstein. He's an HIV specialist. Um, so I meet with him every six months to do routine lab work and then to, just to check up on how I'm doing. So, how have you been? Mm -hmm. So the last time that we did any labs on you was in January. Yeah. And I can't remember if I mentioned to you in January that things continue to improve in terms of medication. Mm -hmm. So when we saw you in January, there's a new medication that I'm going to show you in a second. Okay. And when I saw you in January, that medication was not yet available. Yeah, you said it was in trial, right? Uh, it was kind of, it was just about to become available, which oh. it did, I think, like the next week. Okay. February 5th or February 12th or something like that. I saw you January 30th. So it was right after your last visit here. Mm -hmm. And what you're taking is one pill once a day, mm -hmm. Genboya, one pill, very small, very simple. And there's a new, I basically consider this an upgraded version of Genboya. Mm -hmm. And it's this little guy here called mm -hmm. Vic Tarby. It's this little guy. So you're taking this guy, mm -hmm. and we're going to recommend... Hmm? I've heard about that lately, too. Yeah, I think this has some advantages over this one. Okay. And some advantages over what you're taking. It's very similar to what you're taking. Uh -huh. It's also not dissimilar to this one. Okay. But I think this is actually, by a pretty clear margin, the best HIV medication we've ever seen. When it comes to treating HIV, the goal with any HIV treatment is just to shut the virus down. Mm -hmm. So basically to make the HIV virus act the same way... Did you have chicken pox as a kid? Yeah. So to act the same way your chicken pox virus has. Mm -hmm. So when you woke up this morning, did you think, oh my god, I have chicken pox? No. You do. Right. And so do I. Yeah. And so do most people in the world. The chicken pox virus that you have now, and the chicken pox virus that I have is inactive. Mm -hmm. And what's keeping it inactive is our immune system. HIV is is also a virus, but what's different about HIV is that our immune system is not capable of inactivating the virus. That's the goal of the medication. So medication will inactivate it so that it becomes as significant in your life yeah. as your chickenpox virus, which you don't give two thoughts to. Nope. So the way we inactivate HIV, because HIV is kind of a wily virus and it will it can get around the immune system, but it can also get around the medication unless we do certain things. And what we've done for the past 23 years that we've had effective medication is we use three different medicines to shut it down. And if you do that, then you'll effectively shut it down the same way we can, our immune system shuts down chickenpox virus. Mm -hmm. So with Genvoya, with all of these medications here, they all have at least three active medications. In some cases, there's four medications. Yeah. So what you're taking now, Genvoya has four meds in it. Mm -hmm. That fourth medication, that's in it is not active against HIV directly. It's causing a drug interaction with one of the other components that's in it, mm -hmm. and it makes that other component more active. Okay, got it. With Bictarby, this new one, it doesn't require that fourth medication to activate it. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more efficient. Another way to think of it from a medical standpoint is it's a little cleaner because it has fewer moving yeah. parts, fewer drug interactions. And it also has two other advantages. 
it has what we call a higher genetic barrier to resistance. So I just talked earlier mm. about HIV being kind of wily, like mm -hmm. it'll, it'll yeah. evade the immune system. What we call that, or another way of describing that is, a, is, is um, this barrier to resistance. It's really hard for HIV to mutate and become resistant to this. That's it's cool. easier for it to mutate That's and cool. become resistant to Genboya, yeah. but very hard with this one. Interesting. So it's better at suppressing HIV, harder for HIV to become resistant to it, it's smaller, yeah. it has fewer drug interactions, and Genvoya, at least on the bottle, it says take with food. Mm -hmm. This is with or without food. Cool. So very similar, some of the components are the same. Yeah. One of the components in here is completely gone because you don't need it. And there's another component that's tweaked a little bit to give it those advantages. Okay. So, as I see it, if you're taking Genvoya, upgrade the new one to the iPhone 10. Let's do it. That's kind of what this sort of thing is. And and to me, what it represents is really the the most up to date advance on where we've gotten in terms of managing managing HIV. And it's I think better than anything we've seen in the past. And it really shows how far we've come in terms of our ability to shut this virus down. Yeah, sweet. Very good, sir. Have a seat right up here. You're up like 10 pounds, although it's been over a year. <laughs> I'm what? Your weight's up. Oh, it is? But that's compared to last year. Compared to last time. It's, it's muscle. Up. It's identical. Should be muscle. It looks like it's muscle. <laughs> So let's get some labs out of you. We'll switch you over to Victarvi. How much Genvoya do you have? A lot. So what I would recommend, how much is a lot? Um, months worth. Like six? Maybe. Okay. What I would recommend is you use them, Okay. and the Victarvi will start to build up, so that by the time you've used up your Genvoya, you've got a surplus of Victarvi. Okay. That way you'll maintain your surplus. Because having a surplus is good. Yes. So let's say you decide that you're gonna go canoeing in the Amazon for six months. <laughs> then you know. I always think if there's a cataclysmic event, like like Donald Trump is president. Big one. Well, that too. Like we go to war with Canada. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh. I know. We'll probably read about it in the paper tomorrow. He's dropped the first bomb on Montreal. I get a lot of people asking me, well, a lot of questions, but just as far as sick. Oh, yeah. Take a couple big deep breaths. Okay. I'll tell you why, uh, why I said just one sec. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's already allowed. Okay, you had what? Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah, get it. So it blasts your ears out. It's great. So anyway, you had people asking you. Um, about supplement interactions with very good question. So when it comes to, very good question, when it comes to like diet supplements, or not diet supplements, um, food supplements, vitamins, minerals, those sorts of things, mm -hmm. there's no interaction. Mm -hmm. But with both Genvoya, which you're on, and Victarvi, there can be an interaction with very high dose calcium and magnesium, okay. which you would find in Tums, Rolaids, Mylanta, that sort of thing. If you're taking a multivitamin with calcium, or magnesium, that mm -hmm. those those doses of calcium and magnesium are much lower than what you find in tons and Rolaids. So they specifically no take a ZMA, just zinc and magnesium pills. What, what time of day do you take it? I take it um, in the morning when I'm fasted. Okay, and, and what multivitamins in the evening? And what time of day do you take the um, your Genvoya? In the evening. Oh, you're fine. Okay. So I would either. Um, What's the interaction? Does the interaction is just with magnesium, okay. with nothing else. Magnesium, calcium, and aluminum. Does it suppress the efficiency of it? It can um, chemically bond with the one of the components of the HIV medication. Okay. But not zinc, not the multivitamin. Yeah. Only, in your case, it sounds like only the magnesium. Okay. And the magnesium that you're taking is probably not a high enough dose to cause an interaction. Mm -hmm. And you're taking it. Yeah several hours apart. Yeah. So if you're going to take it together, you can. Mm -hmm. But what I said earlier was that the Victarvi can be with or without food. Mm -hmm. If you're going to take it at the same time as your zinc magnesium, then uh, take it with some food. Okay. Then it takes care of the problem. Okay. But it sounds like you're already taking care of the problem. 
because you don't take it at the same time. Yeah. And then people will always hit me up asking about like whey protein, creatine, pre-workout, post-workout, like supplements in general for like bodybuilding, fitness. Is that is that a concern? Because people like with HIV. Yeah. No. People internationally, from their doctors say, can't take whey protein. It'll affect your kidney and your liver. You can't take. No. Um, so, you know, obviously not everybody's the same, and right. for. Um, for some people with HIV, but not you, and not many people, but some people have some kidney disease, mm -hmm. and that could either be due to untreated HIV, mm -hmm. if people have HIV and they don't get treated, it can lead to some harm to the kidney. And in that case, the kidney can have a problem processing large doses of, large volumes of protein. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't apply to you. Yeah. And some HIV medications can also affect the kidney, but the current ones do not. Because yeah. the current medications keep getting cleaner, yeah. less toxic, more efficient, and there's a, a, no issue there. When it comes to creatine, creatine can interact with or disrupt our ability to do one of the measures of kidney function. It doesn't have an effect on kidney function, but the way we measure kidney function mm -hmm. is indirect and we actually look at a surrogate marker, what we call a surrogate marker of kidney function. So not a real marker. Because okay. to really determine kidney function, you've got to do this 24 hour urine testing yeah. and it's very problematic. So we do this kind of cheap and easy workaround, yeah. but if you take a creatine supplement, it can interfere with that workaround test without interfering with kidney function. And appear, actual appear as if it's... Yeah, but it's not going to be significant enough to make a difference. Okay. And that's going to make, be a bigger deal for some people than others. In your case, it's not a big deal. Great. So you can have all the whey protein and supplements and creatine that you want. And I think we're good. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Uh, no. Well, I think you're doing fantastic. Well, thank you for um, being willing to do this, too. No problem. Um, very happy to do it. Happy to help in any way. OK? Talk to you soon, and we'll see you next time. Let me know if you have any questions. I will. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Okay, Mini. Good to meet you. We'll get you out of here in no time. So what just happened? <laughs> you just swapped medications? So yeah, I just changed my medication from Genvoya to Victarvi. Mm -hmm. um, which is cool. Obviously way cleaner, the medicine's getting even better. Um, I don't, you know, I don't... I can't imagine that the medicine is going to get that much better than it already has. It's, I have no side effects. I don't have to worry about much in the way of interactions except for like what, what he was saying with mm. magnesium. Is that usually how long it takes? Yeah, it's usually pretty pretty quick. And then he'll just ask me some questions personally about my life, see how I'm doing on a personal level, and then ask me some, um, you, he'll ask me about like, um, like sexually active questions like that, but I haven't been for two years, so I don't think he even bothers to ask me more. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then he'll let me know the latest on what's going on with the medicine. Put your arm up here for me. And I put blood up there. You put the urine there. It's going to be a little tight. Take a fist for me. Pick a vein, any vein. Yeah, I like this one. See how my veins kind of like an X right here? Yeah. So I used to tell myself that I was an X-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, Ryan, if you're all set, all right, so we need a urine test and you're good okay. to go. Cool. Alright, have you. a great day. Thank you. you. Guys. Okay, so. I hope you got something useful out of this video. Um, gave you a glimpse into what it's like going to the doctors because in a previous vlog I talked about uh, what it's like living with HIV. I've gotten such tremendous feedback from that. Um, and I mentioned that I take, aside from taking a pill once a day and going to the doctors once every six months, that's really all um, that, that HIV has an impact on in my life. So I figured let's show that. Um, it's not some scary dank dungeon where people are looking sad and depressed and people are dying on every other chair. It's, it's a totally normal doctor's visit, normal people. Um, Dr. Jake Latsing is an amazing guy. 
um, as well as an amazing doctor. He's so knowledgeable, he has so much information. And, um, yeah, I go every six months. We talk about um, how, I'm, how I'm doing personally on a personal level, and then my sexual life. I don't have one, so we don't really talk about it. And then any new developments with medicine, and then if there is a new drug like today, um, then I'll switch to that. So I hope I was able to answer some of your questions or ease some of your concerns, or just give you an insight into a world that otherwise is totally foreign to you. Please like, subscribe, share if you think anyone can find this useful. And um, stay tuned, I've got a lot more going for you. Alright, thanks guys. <laughs> I didn't like day yesterday, so everything's like fucking drag. <laughs> Um, Alright guys, I'm um, so glad that you tuned in to this uh, vlog. I hope you got something useful out of this. Talk. Excuse me. Um, anyway, back to what really matters. Not whatever, whoever just got shot. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say?